So it is the Phil Marriott and Catherine Ellis podcast. Uh, we've already had him on the show, but it's time to welcome back Max Ellis. P-M-K-E! I love that Max Ellis version of the jingles. Podcast! There you go. Uh, you're always here because you're part of the family, obviously. You're not in the title of the podcast, yeah, but that's you should just be, I think. Wrong. Maybe. Uh, I think Catherine did say it was over-egging the pudding by putting <laughs> your could, name uh, the, uh, the M and your name could be just changed to Max. So it's the <laughs> Phil Max Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Maybe. <laughs> Over egging the pudding. I think you're right, Catherine. And let's face it, there aren't many occasions where you're not right. It's the poxy cast. <laughs> right, we are, for a reason, bringing you back to talk about something <sighs> very special. Can I just say I was watching uh, whilst doing some work, because I never stopped working. I was on my laptop and I had Channel 5 on, and it was the right stuff. Uh, which I watch sometimes because it's kind of upbeat news, really. I don't like watching the news, but I decided to watch this on this occasion. And then I hear Max Ellis, Gulliver Ellis, talking about you and your family on The Right Stuff because they're looking through the papers. Janet Ellis, former Blue Peter presenter. Oh. Uh, well, sharing your name, obviously, as well. Know, yeah. That's a spooky. No, she was. Spooky similarity. She was talking about Squirrelismo. Mm. Hashtag it, and you'll see mm. your squirrels. Yeah. Not just any squirrels, your Tellington squirrels uh, from your back garden, photographed by yourself. On the right stuff. How amazing is that? I didn't know there was a Channel 5. It, but wasn't it on this morning as well? Yeah, it was. Cool. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the this current round. I, I, obviously, I've done several um, squirrel projects. Yeah. They're an ongoing thing. I mean, I've been doing it for years. Uh, it sort of started out because we did this thing called Blip Photo we're still doing it which is like a daily photo journal thing where we kind of take a picture of our day every day um, and after several years it just becomes apparent that nothing happens in quite a lot of days where you just sort of end up photographing you know your foot or mm. uh, uh, you know record you're listening to or something like that you know, never got that bad but that's the kind of feeling but so <clears throat> I think that I'd noticed the squirrels are out there and mucking around with stuff they always look for things in the things you leave out there the kids are always leaving crap out in the garden and they'd investigate it and I think well okay I think the first thing I did was with those nose cups you know the cups that look, have got a nose printed on them and when yeah. you lift them up I thought well that'd be quite funny I've got the squirrel to stick his head in that yeah so I did and it was you know it was funny and uh, went, and it went sort of well on blip and then I sort of thought I'd do a few more and it was and it just basically continued from there and uh, also because the kids were sort of, you know, they quite liked it as well. Was, you know, I sort of, I know it was really for me, but the children, I, what I do is blame it on the kids. So I don't <laughs> seem completely weird. <laughs> it's making the squirrels more personal though. It's like cartoon characters almost, but real squirrels. Yeah, because they are real yeah. and they're not, uh, they aren't having their hands glued to the things as the Chinese suspected recently yeah. in a recent interview. And they're not being, for, they're not stuffed. Well, but also here's the accused. thing, because like, we've obviously dedicated our cover art that mm. you've taken that picture, the brilliant picture of us as squirrels, mm. Catherine and I. I thought that that was superimposed, because yeah. I thought you can't keep them still enough for long. Um, it was hard. Or still long, yeah. Mm. And with our faces, it could, you know, you've got to superimpose them, but actually they did have they our faces on. They are holding them, yeah. <clears throat> and it, it, I had to do, well, basically, I had to stick the two pictures together because they wouldn't do it the same. The squirrels aren't that good in the same close proximity. Often things happen and I'll kind of move them closer together, which I've done before. Uh, with this one, because it was almost impossible, as you say, to get them to do the thing right anyway. Well, it's like dogs, hold, isn't it? Animals, generally. Because it, they are unpredictable. You know, I know that I can put the thing roughly where they can reach it, and I know that at some point they'll get hold of it and then try and get the peanut butter or the seeds off the back of it, or stuff on the, on the, on the back of it. Um, and they did, but they also decided they wanted it and they would take it away. So they'd chew through the fishing line was holding it up and run off with it. <laughs> In which case, I'd learnt from pr Christmas where I chased after them the Christmas tree balls that they just run and the Christmas tree balls would end up in the decorated tree that's still decorated, that's still got the Christmas decorations hanging in the tree from the winter. So what I do is wait for them to drop it. So I, I wait for them, it, this, it galloped up to the top of the trampoline with Catherine's head and sat up there and eventually, after it licked all the peanut butter off her face, <laughs> dropped her on the floor, in which case I went out and got it again. And then I did you, but then eventually I was going to go for another set, and it just made off with Catherine altogether and didn't bring her back. And Catherine believes they're worshipping her in the tree. She's like <laughs> <a> squirrel deity. <laughs> I love it. I'm fascinated by these pictures, and everybody, it seems, around the world are. And it has gone completely viral, because if you go onto Twitter and you 
hashtag Squirrelissimo, which is what I did the other day. Mm. Streams and streams of retweets and people that are, you know, and uh, I have to say, obviously, a lot of people aren't crediting you as well. So if that's you and you're (laughs) listening and you haven't credited from various publications or newspapers. Absolutely fair. The uh, because they're syndicated through Cater's newspapers, Mm. which I uh, I basically when I get a new set of squirrel pictures, I send them out to Cater's and then Cater's distributes them worldwide. And those don't have my signature on. They do have my name usually in the interview because they like to do a bit about me as well. But people may have got it from caters or from Daily Mail or right. wherever it's gone. So that might be the case, you know. But they do nick them. But I mean I it's difficult because I mean what do you do? You know, if you if you're using the internet for promotion, you accept that people are gonna steal things and yeah. put them up. And yeah. as long as they're not actually making any money out of it, you know, it's nice to get a credit. But apart from that I don't really mind, you know, like all the big uh, share sites like Bald Panda and uh, what are they called? Like, there's hundreds of these sort of things that share in it. I let them use it, and they do interviews, and they link back to my sort of Instagram and my uh, you know, website, and you know it creates traffic for me and yeah. interest. And so it does come back to you. Yeah. No, so you what's do. next? Uh, are we going to have a Squirrel Listen Mo YouTube? Well, I've got video. video. I mean, that's the thing is, I've got video. I do tend to try and do a bit of video each time just to prove that it wasn't Photoshop. So I have got them. I mean, they're kind of like, you know, they're quite funny because weird things happen, especially the pumpkin one where it kind of falls over sideways and he's clinging onto the thing and, you know, swing, all swings around. So, you know, and the more madder ones, like the, the, the you know, where I've spent a lot of time building a completely pointless set, I'll, uh, you know, leave it. Yeah. Put a bit of YouTube on that maybe at some point. Maybe that will happen next. Oh, I hope so. Who um, knows? We have to mention your website, and I'm wondering if the squirrels are on there. Oh, yes. Photographic.com. Oh, yes, if you click on the squirrel, there's four pictures. I've, I've just tried to streamline my thing. My areas of speciality, which are squirrels, stags, men's stomachs, and uh, ladies singing really loudly. So there's kind of, you know, click on one of those and that's what you're going to get. <laughs> I like the way you look at me when you say men's stomachs. <laughs> it's like, yes, I know, it's probably bigger than it should be. <laughs> <You> <laughs> After that cake. Wearing black. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wear black. <laughs> that's sensible. So hurrah to the squirrels. Hurrah Yay! to Max Ellis. Hashtag squirrelissimo. Get in there. Follow the squirrel.